Ah, Geralt. Anything you'd like to say? Sorry. Pretty dumb excuse. Extremely stupid. I'm glad a mere whiff of fresh air helped you realize that. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Nothing here. Signal. Signal's growing stronger. So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Yes? What is it, Wolf? I met with Emir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Temeria, Redania, Kedwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballots. Not much left of that world. See you later, Vesemir. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Can we 
dog. So long. Ah, getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Can we talk? I'm looking... How can I... You think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? to die meridian. Ah, getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Ah, there you are. Pretty, isn't it? Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the Megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Hold this. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynglade? Hey there, Ida. Geralt, 
It matters not, Yennefer. I've grown accustomed to human decorum. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fele len, ked mil foli, gledev don eptenid bondro isne iacus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request... Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. <sighs> oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you. That's it. I don't know what you want to do with them. You haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. Don't take this the wrong way, Vesemir. But clock's ticking. I ask only one night's delay. If nothing comes of it, we'll do what Yennefer wants. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion. I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go.
Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You all right drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Where'd you go while you were away, Eskel? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho! Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables. To lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? On your way west last time I saw you. Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense, get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He get caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been? Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? We were talking about Uma, weren't we? The night is young. Got time to talk about everything. Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. 
See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin though, right? Yeah, unless you'd rather play strip Quent. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snacks later. Pox is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play.